Good morning, students. Welcome to my last uh, and th uh, third video of solving additional mathematics paper one, uh, 4037 variation 11, May, June 2018. Uh, uh, in my last two videos, I have done up to question number nine. Today, I'm going to do question number 10. Do not use the calculator in these questions. Now, you do know that both paper are allowed calculator. So how do they know if you are using the calculator or not? The, the way they would know that you have to show every steps, every vital steps to get the mark, the three mark, okay? This one is a rationalization. That means you have to take the square root off from the denominator. To do so, I'm gonna multiply the numerator and denominator with the conjugate pair. That means same number, with the different sign in the middle. Okay, so it's gonna be six and a square root five, but this gonna be different. But I cannot do that unless I do the same thing with the numerator, six minus square root five. See that this, this cross out, I'm not doing anything different, anything, I'm not changing anything. So that is gonna be in the denominator, a plus b, a minus b form, that means a square minus b square. So that gonna be, 6 square minus square root 5 square. And if I take this bracket off and multiply, 5 times 6 is this multiply with that, that's 30. And then this multiply with this, then it's going to be minus 5 root 5. And now this multiply with this, 6 is six, 36 root square root 5. So that's going to be plus 36 square root 5. And this times this is minus 6 square root 5 whole square okay now I'm gonna continue over here so over here this this square and a square root cross out and the, in the denominator I have 36 minus 5 okay and on the top I have 30 and over here see that like uh, terms so 36 root 5 minus 5 root 5 so that's gonna be plus 31 root 5 and this is going to be this and this cross out and 6 5 is a 30 and minus 30. And that going to cross out. So on the top, I have 31 square root 5 and below here, I have 31. Now again, this, this cross out is going to be square root 5. See that all the vital steps? So this is my final answer. Okay. Show that 3 to the power 0 0.5 times 2 to the power square root whole to the power 7 can be written in the form of that where a b are integers and a is greater than b now 3 0 0.5 means power half times now that 2 to the power 7 and this is a square root so what i'm going to do i'm going to do a little interesting thing over here times i'm going to write down 2 square times 2 square times 2 square if you look at closely when we multiply you're going to add the power 2 plus 2 plus 2, that means 6. 2 to the power 6. I need one more power, one more 2 with power 1. Now, when I have this, okay, well, I can keep this one like that, no problem. Okay, this can be get, uh, taken out of the square root. So, it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2. That's going to be square root 2. Now, you know that different base, same power, we can take that common and then power has to be common and we can take this one in the bracket so it's 8 and 3 times 2 that means 8 square root 6 now if you look closely a square root b 8 square root 6 they look the same where a is greater than b a is 8 b is 6 so that's my answer done okay now solve the equation this okay to solve that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring this x this side x square plus square root 2x equal to 4. Bring 4 to this side. x square plus square root 2x minus 4 equal to 0. Now, this does look like a quadratic equation. x to the power 2, x to the power 1, x to the power 0. So, how can we do that? Okay, simply start form. We are not going to be use the calculator. It's 4 marks. If you use the calculator, you are not going to get the whole mark. So, what I'm going to do... We're going to use that formula we know, x equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. 
and in this case a equal to 1 b equal to square root 2 c equal to minus 4 so if we replace that b is gonna be minus square root 2 plus minus uh, it's square root 2 whole square minus 4 a equal to 1 and c equal to minus 4 divided by 2 a equal to 1 so that's going to be minus square root 2 this 2 and square root cross out so plus minus is going to be 2 minus minus plus 16 and below here is 2 i'm going to start from here so it's going to be minus square root 2 and that's going to be 18 if you know 18 can be written as 3 root 2 and divided by 2. Now I can split that one because I have plus minus. I can write down minus square root 2 plus 3 square root 2 divided by 2 and I can write down minus square root 2 minus 3 square root 2 divided by 2. Now that like term minus 1 root 2 plus 3 root 2 that's 2 root 2 divided by 2 2 to cross out it's root 2 one of the value is root 2 and this is minus 1 root 2 minus 3 root 2 that's minus 4 root 2 divided by 2 cross out 2 so it's gonna be minus 2 root 2 so x is gonna be minus 2 root 2 and root 2 this two answers okay so that's done now coming to question number 11 it says that diagram shows part of the graph y equal to 16x plus 27 by x square which has a minimum at a so this is at a find the coordinates of a now at minimum means dy stationary point is zero so dy dx before i do that i'm gonna just change this a little bit okay it's 27 x to the power minus 2 from denominator when i bring it to the numerator the power gets negative okay so dy dx would be 16 then minus 2 times 27 x to the power minus 2 minus 1 at maximum or minimum dy dx equal to 0 so it's going to be 16 minus 227 is 54 2 times 27 that's 54 and that's going to be x is cubed so if i bring this to this side it's 54 by x is cubed equal to 16 so x cubed goes this side 16 come that side so x is cubed equal to 54 divided by 16 cross that out by 2 2 to the 4 uh, 2 7 the 14 2 8 the so this can be written as 3 by 2 cubed 3 cubed is 27 2 cubed is 8 that that cross out therefore x equal to 3 by 2 i need coordinates of a i got already x coordinates so a's x coordinates is 3 by 2 now i need to find out the y coordinates so take this equation y y equal to 16 in the place of x put that 3 by 2 plus 27 then 3 by 2 whole square so this 2 and this cross out is 8 so it's going to be 24 plus 27 is going to be 9 by 4 so 24 plus 27 times 4 divided by 9 is 3 24 plus 12 that's going to be 36 so this is 36 so coordinates of a is going to be 3 by 2 36 10 all right the point p and q lie on the curve this and have x coordinates is 1 and 3 respectively okay find the okay p where x equal to 1 then y gonna be 16 times 1 plus 27 1 square that means 16 plus 27 equal to 16 plus 27 equal to 43 okay so the coordinates of p is gonna be 1 43 okay so that's done now <coughs> excuse me <coughs> now at q where x equal to 3 okay so y equal to 16 times 3 
plus 27 3 cubed 3 cubed is 27 so that that cross out don't put 0 that's 1 so uh, that's gonna be 16 times 3 that's gonna be 48 and uh, uh, x equal to 3 16 threes are uh, sorry, that's x square. <laughs> okay, I'll just rewrite that. It was a square. Okay, y equal to 16 times 3 plus 27. Uh, 3 square is 9. So that cross out is going to be 3. So it's going to be 48 plus 3 equal to 51. So I got q is 351. Let me draw this over here. Okay. P is 143, so somewhere, let's say this is 3 by 2, so 1 is going to be somewhere over here. Uh, let's say that's my P, and this P is 143. 143. And Q is 351, so let's put Q somewhere over here. Okay, again, you don't have to be politically correct. That's Q, 351. Okay. And what the question is saying, find the area enclosed by the curve and the line PQ, okay? So what that means? So that PQ and the curve. So they are asking us to find out this area over here. To look at this, I need to find out area of the trapezium. Then I have to subtract the area under the graph for this region, okay? Then I'm gonna get that. All right, so let's do this. Uh, what I'm going to do, required area equal to area of the trapezium, which one is bigger? Area of the trapezium is bigger. Minus area under the graph, that's going to be 1 and that's going to be 3. So 1, 2, 3. And that's going to be 16x plus 27x squared dx. Now, what is the area of the trapezium? Half sum of parallel line. So this one and this one, 51 plus 43. So 51 plus 43. And the difference over here of the parallel line, 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay. And over here, if I differentiate that, uh, sorry, integrate that, uh, it's going to be 16x squared divided by 2. Then it's going to be uh, say that uh, 27 x to the power minus 2 so it's gonna be uh, 27 plus let let me put that plus 27 x to the power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 so it's gonna be 8 x squared this minus minus 2 plus 1 is minus that's minus 2 plus 1 and uh, that's square then minus 27 x to the power minus 1, so it's going to be x, okay? So, I can just rewrite this, 8x square minus 27 by x, and the value is 1, 2, 3. So, this 2 to cross out, and 51, 51 plus 43, that's going to give me 94, and over here is... 3 square is 9, 9, 8 is a 72, then minus 3, that's 9, then minus, it's going to be 8, minus 27, so it's going to be what, uh, 94 minus 72 minus 9, that's going to be 63, then it's going to be minus 19, minus minus plus 19. So that's going to be 94 minus 69 plus 19. That's 88. Uh, doesn't look right. Uh, 72. 72 minus 9. This is 827. So 8 minus 27. That's going to be 19 minus 19. So, okay. So this one, 72. I believe this one is wrong minus 9 that, that's going to be 63 so 63 plus 19 that's going to be 82 so 94 minus 82 that's going to be 12 
unit square okay i think i got it right okay so that's that and the last one uh, a curve is such that secondary rule is given d squared y dx squared equal to 2x minus 5 to the power minus half given that the curve has a gradient of 6 at the point this find the equation of the graph okay so when we uh, integrate we got dy dx and then we are integrating this 2x minus 5 to the power minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 and then this 2 formula plus c okay and then i hope you know that ax plus b to the power n dx then it's going to be ax plus b n plus 1 so this n plus 1 and with that multiply this a and plus of course a constant c that's what i did here so that's going to be uh, this is the gradient and gradient is 6 and the value of y is 9 by uh, value of x is 9 by 2 so 2 9 by 2 minus 5 and over here is going to be half minus half plus 1 is half and below over here is half times 2 plus c this this cross out this this cross out so 6 equal to 9 minus 5 is 4 4 half is 2 plus c so c equal to 4 now I can write down this equation dy dx equal to 2x minus 5 to the power half and below here nothing and this one over here plus 4 okay so that's that now we need to integrate that one again because we need to find out the equation okay so if we just integrate that integrate that okay then what happened we are integrating this we're gonna get uh, the, this uh, actually before i do that i need to send this da, dx over here okay so that's gonna be y equal to that's gonna be 2x minus 5 half plus 1 and that's gonna be half plus 1 and this 2 over here and then i have 4x plus since i have taken c one let's take this c2 okay and this one passes through the same thing okay y is gonna be 2 by 3 x is gonna be 9 by 2 so 9 by 2 minus 5 and this is gonna be 3 by 2 over here 2 times 3 by 2 plus 4 this is gonna be 9 by 2 plus c2 this this cross out so what I got 2 by 3 equal to this this cross out so 9 minus 5 is 4 so this 2 to the power 3 is 8 divided by 3 and that's going to be 2 plus 18 plus c2 so let's see what this c2 comes up to so uh, this is going to be 2 2 by 3 minus 8 by 3 bringing this one over here minus 18 so i got therefore c2 equal to minus 20. now i think i got the equation y equal to uh, this is gonna be 2x minus 5 that's gonna be 3 by 2 plus 4x minus 20 and over here was 3 so it's going to be 1 by 3 so let me write down this equation a little bit this way y equal to 1 by 3 2x minus 5 3 by 2 plus 4x minus 20 so that's my final equation okay thank you for watching if you have any question leave in the question uh, inbox and i'll get back to you okay take care have a good day